Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to go over Wix's shipping and delivery methods. You want to set up a number of different sort of shipping and delivery methods that once they're in place, users can pick from and then they can pick whichever method suits them basically. So once you're logged in you, on your dashboard, you just want to go into the settings. And from there you want to go into shipping and fulfillment. So the, this is your shipping and delivery section. And the first thing that you want to add is the shipping regions. So by default, Wix stores kind of come with two regions already added, one for your own country, so domestic, and then one for the rest of the world, international. Um, and by default, they all they both offer free shipping. So to edit your local one, so you, to edit your uh, domestic region, you just want to click edit. Um, and then you can see you can add destinations in this region. So within this region, you can see um, United Kingdom being added, and then you can either select between which one um, you want to choose, or you can deselect all, or you can select all of them, whichever one. If there's more countries to add to the domestic region, then you would just click into that section here um, and then add a country, basically. And just go through the list and make sure all of the shipping destinations are there basically. And then when you scroll down, you can then apply shipping rates to the region. So um, there's free shipping being offered, which is just a general free shipping. Um, the name, the shipping option name is comes up as free shipping, um, but you can call it something else. This is essentially what people will see when they select their delivery method. And then you can give it an estimate de uh, delivery time, which is optional, but it'll be shown on the checkout page. You can also then decide if you want to add a flat rate. So this is just a the same rate that's going to be applied to a customer's entire order. So for example, and you can have different uh, rates involved. So for example, if you wanted to order stand, if you wanted to offer standard shipping, you would just type in standard shipping, and then you can give it a business time, so or delivery time, so three to five business days. And then you can give it a rate of maybe four or fifty. Um, and then what you can do is then add another shipping option and call it maybe um, next day. And again, give it a different sort of delivery time. And what you can do then you can charge different rates basically um, for shipping. Um, if you know certain um, certain shipping uh, and delivery types will cost different amounts, you can offer different amounts of shipping and then people can pick if they want standard shipping, which will take longer um, but cost less, or if they want next day delivery, which will take shorter but then cost a bit more, um, you can add different, um, you can add different uh, amounts to each of them. What you can also do is add a handling fee to every order. So this is basically if you wanted to charge a bit more for anything else that might need it. For example, <clears throat> if you're selling anything delicate, you might want to you might need to ship with more sort of protective packaging, things like that. You can add sort of like a handling fee um, to each order and this will be standard for any kind of order that you have. Another thing you can do with the flat rate is uh, offer free shipping when someone buys over a certain amount. So, for example, if you wanted to offer free standard shipping, if someone buys over fifty pounds worth of items, you would just click on uh, offer free shipping for this one, and then just click and just type in the amount that they would need to buy. Meaning they can get standard shipping for free uh, if their order weight uh, totals more than fifty pounds. Same thing if you wanted to over next, or if you wanted to order ne uh, offer a next day delivery for free, you would just click offer free shipping. But for this one, maybe you want them to spend over a hundred pounds, and that way they'll get next day delivery free. Um, so it's up to you how you want to use that. So it's pretty flexible in terms of how many options you can have and um, different things like that. The other thing you can do is do a rate by weight. So from, if you remember from a previous video, we can add a weight to each product that you add. And then this comes in here basically. So you can basically set a rate for the weight of the total order. So if you want to give this um, a name, if we call it standard shipping. and give it obviously the business uh, amount, the delivery time. 
and then you give it a weight range. So uh, by default, you got um, it starts with zero to something kg. You can do one or you can do maybe two, whatever that is. And automatically the next range then um, will kind of uh, add, take the last weight range of, uh, above and previously. And you can give it each of them a rate. So if we set this one to 15, it means if the total order weighs between zero and two kg, then the rate is then 15 pounds if it's 2 kg and up so if that's uh, the last uh, option that you want to give then you can give it a different weight um, if you want to add more options you just click add range and then give it a more range as well and essentially you do want to keep the last part blank so then you, you, you have like a you always have an amount to give no matter how much they weigh so um, you would just add in all the different rates for the different weights um, and again, you can then offer free shipping for that one as well. When they buy over a certain amount, you can offer um, free shipping. So if maybe if they buy over 200 pounds worth of stuff, they get free shipping. And if you wanted to add the handling free as well, you can add a, another shipping option. Um, so with this one's standard shipping and you can add another one for first class shipping. Um, and again, offer different, different days and different pricing as well for the weight range. And then you can also uh, rate by price. So same thing with the um, weight. So you'll give the different price ranges. And this is the price of the total basket. So if they, if their basket is between zero and 50 pounds, then the rate would be um, maybe uh, 15 pounds. And then uh, 50 pounds and up, then um, it can be zero if you want to offer free shipping, or you can just reduce the amount, basically. Um, so you can do different rates that way as well. And the next thing you can do is then rate by product. So the way that this works is you would create groups for your products and then you would assign those products to those groups. And then when someone were to buy a product for that, that's within that group, then it will um, assign the price for that group. So for example, if we click on create groups and call it um, household items and then you would just assign so by default they'll change it all to the um, household items but you just select which group those falls in and then just click done so now you have a product group for household items so if any one buys options from the household item groups then um, it'll use this uh, shipping option. Um, so the option name might be standard shipping. Um, and then you have the delivery time and then you would just give that one uh, a price. And then what you can do then is add more uh, product groups. If you click on manage product groups and then in the drop down here, click add new and create a new group and now you can you can um, assign groups to the outdoor one as well and now you've got two and you can see it come up here so uh, house items have a different rate maybe outdoor items might be a little bit cheaper um, and you would offer basically different amounts for different groups of products and if someone were to select items from two different groups then you can set that example up here um, so for example apply group rate to each product in the order that means for every single product that that you have will assign that amount to each uh, product so for example if they buy three item household items and two outdoor uh, items it'll apply the rate three times for the household items and then two times for the outdoor rate and then the other option then is to apply the group rate once for all products ordered from a group. So if they order three household items, it would only apply the household rate once. And if they order two outdoor products, then they will apply the outdoor rate only once um, still. And then you have uh, apply the highest group rate once to the entire order. So it'll only, uh, it'll only um, add one rate and it'll take the highest. So if they uh, select four household items and three outdoor products, um, it'll only add the uh, five pound rate as it's the highest, it's the higher rate, 
um, and it'll apply to the whole order. Or if they, if you, if the art draw rate was, for example, eight pounds, and they order uh, two items from the art draw and one item from the household, they'll apply the eight pound rate once to the entire order because the art draw rate is higher. So it's up to you how you want to set that up. But then you can also set different shipping rates. So you can do standard shipping and then uh, first class shipping, something like that, um, and then offer different rates as well. The other thing you can do then is uh, add pickup options. So if you don't want to offer any kind of delivery or, um, or shipping, you just want uh, people to collect their product in store, for example, you just click add pickup and then set up the pickup details. So it's really just the pickup name. So store pickup, um, or you can call it collect uh, in store. And then you would need to pick up the uh, enter the pickup address, whichever the address it is that you want people to come. It could be your business address. Um, and then when will the order be ready for pickup? It's optional, but it'll be good to have. So you can say available today, ready in five, five business days. Um, or you can say ready between three to five business days, something like that. And then you want to give the pickup instructions. Um, so by default, you can use this. Please wait, wait for the notification before picking up your order. Your order confirmation and ID will be needed for pickup. And you can give your store opening hours as well so they know what time they can pick it up from. And any other information you can uh, add as well to the pickup instructions. But you want to make it as easy as possible and with clear instructions as well so people um, can pick up the, their items easily. The advantage of having just the pickup uh, option is that people can still pay for their items online. Um, so they, you'll still get payment, payment for it. Um, they just need to go in person and pick it up. Um, so it's not like they need to pay when they pick it up. They'll um, pay first and then they can pick it up as well. Another thing you can do then is add something called local delivery. So you can offer hand delivery to areas within this region. So that's if you're not um, using sort of third party mailing services, if you're not going to um, use those what you can do is add local delivery and you can give it a name so deliver um, to this one area for example um, because you know that's an area that you can uh, deliver to yourself and then you can give it a delivery rate maybe that might be cheaper um, and then you can offer free delivery of someone over a certain amount um, and then you can set the area either by postcode. So if you know there's postcodes that you can deliver to easily, you can set those postcodes or you can do it by radius. So you would enter the address and then you would give, you would give it the radius. Um, if it's like a one kilometer radi radius, um, 15, something like that. And then you would give a delivery time. So you give an esti estimated delivery time as one to two days, or you can set up delivery time slots that people can pick. So users will pick the time slots that you have and then um, you would just follow that and deliver between that uh, within that time slot. And then you can set a delivery type and conditions. So you can do offer same day delivery, next day delivery, or minimum two day delivery. Um, and you can set the number of days that way. This is the amount of days, by the way, it takes for the time from the when the customer places an order to when it actually be to when it'll actually be delivered. Um, so you can apply all of those as well, and then you can click add area, um, and that'll add. Uh, an area. You can add as many areas as you want, um, so it's up to you how you want to use that. Um, but then once you're done, all you need to do is click save to save all of your um, options. And that way then when someone selects their uh, options, selects their, goes to the checkout, they can select a number of different shipping options that you've selected. Um, so that was for the domestic. The rest of the world then you still have to set. So by default, international rest of the world is set as free shipping. So you can set um, more destinations to that as well. Um, what you can also do is uh, add more regions. So if domestic would be that one, then you can say uh, Europe as another one. Um, yeah, instead of calling it region three, you would call it Europe. And then you can add sort of countries that fall in that that you would deliver to and then you can set delivery as well. So you can set delivery for different parts of the world. Um, what you would do is set the delivery that you can deliver to. So domestic, um, Europe, whatever countries it is, and make sure you have delivery set. And then when it comes to have when it comes to the rest of the world, what you would do is just click into it. And if you don't deliver to anywhere else apart from where you've selected, 
you would just uh, go into the three dots and just click delete shipping region. Um, and that way when someone adds in an address that doesn't fall into domestic or the other uh, regions that you set up, users get a message that says, sorry, we don't deliver to this area. So um, you wanna make sure that you set up all of your shipping regions and then whichever one that you don't, you don't set up any um, shipping delivery for that one. And then it'll come up that we don't uh, ship to those areas basically. But that's basically it. Once you're done with everything, just make sure you save all of that and then all of the options will show up in the user's uh, checkout page and then all of the relevant shipping will be added.